of our series, we discuss the anatomy of the quadratus laborum, its ranges of motion, and identifying lateral pelvic tilt. I'm going to show you how to palpate the origin of the quadratus laborum. Now, here's the thing. A lot of therapists feel that just palpating the origin is getting the muscle belly. Not so. I'm going to show you how to get into the muscle belly. You have to actually go into the side for the muscle belly, and I'm going to show you that. But I'm going to show you how to get the origin. Now, I have the drape. Oh, are you comfortable, Louisa? Mm -hmm. Yes. There you go. Here's your iliac crest. Here's the little dimples that we call the PSISs, posterior superior iliac spine. And that's a topic for another video. Here's her iliac crest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compress my fingers right into the tissue above, above, not below, above the iliac crest. Be careful, her floating rib is right here. There you go. I'm going to compress in and right on top of that iliac crest, right there. How does that feel, Louisa? That feels good. Yeah, if somebody has low back pain or low back issues, this is going to help them tremendously. But guess what? As good as this is, that is not getting the muscle belly of the quadratus laborum, everybody. So let me show you. You want to locate. Iliac crest is right here. Here's her floating rib. You have a small space to work with, not like... Uh, not like uh, Terry over here. It looks like he has a lot of space. You don't. The muscles are pulling you in. Remember the quadratus laborum. I also want to get under the landmark of the thoracolumnar apneuroses. There we go. One technique you can use, which is my particular favorite, is the blading technique. I don't want to go too far anterior into the abdominal contents. I want to go right above that iliac crest. And I am actually very lateral under that thoracolumnar apneurosis. You see that space right there? Are you doing okay, Louisa? Mm -hmm. I want to go slowly. As I go in, I'm going to angle it towards her sacrum. This hand is acting as just nice leverage, and you can see I'm pulling that tissue right over. There we go. Now, once I feel I'm there, I'm going to have Louisa do the action of the quadratus labor. Uh, Louisa, can you pretend that you're a belly dancer and bring, ah, very, oh, she did that so well, that's good. She does that really well. And I can feel the quadratus laborum, that's awesome. Okay, uh, okay. What it feels like is just a strand in front of me. Now, either you're going to get there or you're not. Don't worry about it. Most importantly, you're opening up this area, and that's what's important. Okay, I'm going to pull out. There we go. I've done this in even basic Swedish massage. I have, I have done this for somebody to help in low back pain. Another way is just, and I've seen physical therapists do this, is simply by using the thumb, which is probably a little bit easier for your client. But know your landmark. There we go. That can do it as well. I tend to find that works a little bit better. There we go. Have her do the same action. Uh, Louisa, very good. And you can relax for me. Very nice. I'll show you another way. Another way is a hook, iliac crest, and then come right in. And you can go ahead and do the, there we go. Now, what's in front of me when her, I'm sorry, I don't want to tickle you, contracting is the abdominal wall. I want to feel what's going on inside. There you Let's go. say that your client is a little modest and you wanted to have the sheet over them. Quite honestly, if you experience this, it's really not that invasive. Or let's say your fingernails. You didn't follow your fingernails. Mm -hmm, massage therapist, follow your fingernails. This is one of the reasons why. You can do this over the sheet. I don't really like to promote it that way, but if you had to, that's fine. But here's the thing know your landmarks. This is not a time to be fishing around. So, you know, there you go. Now here's the thing. I don't like the sheets to be thick. That's one thing. And make sure they're not gathered. 
uh, the sensation for the person is probably going to be quite different. Uh, how's, how's that feeling? Yeah, yes. Does it feel more comfortable for you? Yes, it does. Okay, so it probably feels more comfortable for I would recommend, these sheets are actually just a little thick for this. I would recommend sheets that are probably like a t-shirt material, and that will work best. The sideline. Now remember, it was Louisa's left side that was constricted, so this is what we're going to work on. Um, before you all get upset, here we go. She does have her clothes on, but I wanted to show you the bolstering. In an ideal world, you want to have her hip lined up with her knee and the knee lined up with the ankle. And she's not going to be here very long, but you want to ensure that she's streamlined because you don't want her collapsing over and negating your work. Now, gravity is going to work for me in sideline, which is great. I'm going to show you this like I call it the spear method. I'm going to go right between that thoracolumnar apneurosis and the abdominal contents right here. I'm right above the iliac crest. It's so great. There you go. And I'm heading right towards her sacrum. So I'm actually going at an angle, just like this, down and at an angle. Okay, Louisa, go ahead and do your belly dancer. There you go. Awesome. Oh, I'm sandwiched right between her. I'm sandwiched right between her rib cage and her iliac crest. Just like that, great. Action of the quadriceborum. Relax. I'm gonna go in a little bit further. Okay, great. Now here's another way. I'm gonna take and I'm gonna hook. There you go. Now the fingers are going in, but this assures that I'm clearing that iliac crest. And you can go ahead and do it again. Do your belly dance. All right. Yeah, I'm right above that iliac crest. You don't want to be inferior because you're going to be right on it and you're going to poke right into that gluteus medius. That's great. Now, how long I'm here? You know what? I could be here 15 seconds, 10 seconds. Take your time because the more time you take with this, the more you're going to get into the tissue and the more you're going to feel that quadratus laborum. Thank you for watching. Please tune in for the next video where I show how to stretch the quadratus laborum. If you like what you saw, subscribe to the channel and please share it. And I welcome any comments below. See you next time.